What's up, weirdos? <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, what's up, weirdos? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, headphone warning. This one's gonna be so tough. What's up, weirdos? We have got our work cut out for ourselves in this video. I cannot do this without you. You might remember a little while ago, I made a video about book talk and how it's like painfully, like horn. It's too early in the video to use language like that, but I uh, I saw this guy in that video and it was the last thing I was reacting to because I had to stop filming because it was so painfully cringe. Have a good day for me, okay, baby. And at the end of the video, I was like, I need to come back and make a video about just him. And that's what we're doing today. I am so sorry. He's a Twitch streamer, TikToker, Instagrammer, Reeler. His name is Shaleluya. Shaleluya. But the thing about him is his vibe is very Discord, Reddit, Pokemon trading card convention, and there's nothing wrong with that. By the way, literally just enjoy what you enjoy and have fun. I used to play Magic the Gathering like crazy. I get it, I get it. But the thing is, you compare that to what he does, and it's so scarily painful. When I say cringe, cringe. Sorry, my voice cracked. I want a little Alicia Keys on there. By the way, go Chiefs. Anyways, let me show you what his content is like. To try to avoid teasing you too much, but then... <sighs> I developed a taste for it, and now I can't get enough. I can get enough, Shalleluja. I can get enough. That was enough for me. It was more than enough, actually. The physical reaction that is happening to my body. Listen, I know he's going for a physical reaction in people's bodies. Have a good day for me, okay, baby? But for me, less, uh, more, uh, and he's just on his phone like this. Like, he's just recording it for TikTok. Hey there, baby. And then posting it, by the way, for anybody to see, his family, his friends, followers who, believe it or not, Love this. Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? Top comment right here by Steve Wimper. I'll be a good boy. Steve, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop encouraging this. Please. You cannot watch a video where he says, So I don't think I'll be stopping anytime soon. A man who is saying that, oh my god, while wearing a Kirby t-shirt with a flannel over it. The most Discord Reddit vibe I've ever seen, which is fine! But if you're wearing that while saying, Let's see how anime I can get. <laughs> like, by the way, listen, I know what I'm wearing. I get it. Your oil painting grandma died and I stole this from her closet. I know, but I'm not online talking like this. It's insane. And for Steve, for you to be out here saying, whimper, I'll be a good boy. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna go to his page. I'm blurring out the other person's face because they didn't deserve this, but Steve, there's just three comments that say whimper, I'll be a good boy. <laughs> okay, so I'm not crazy for thinking that's a wild thing to comment. Oh man, it's not Steve's fault. Listen, this is what Shalleluja wants. Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? Steve is doing nothing wrong. Steve is just playing the game. Plus, look at this. Plus sized Queen X says, yeah, I love being teased, dot, dot, dot. Do some more, please. <laughs> Black heart, legs equal jelly, do it again. Please, please. Sir, I just woke up and now I can't get out of bed. Oop. <sighs> okay, I don't wanna do the emoji, I can't do the emojis again, I'm sorry. I thought that maybe that's my thing when I'm doing reactions and I read comments, I do the emojis, I can't, I can't. Not in this context. Steve, again? Whimper, I'll be a good boy? Again? Twice? Good grief. Okay, I gotta get off this one, I gotta get off this one. Have a good day for me, okay, baby. How do you pop open your phone and start filming this? Book time, baby, have you forgotten about me? Please, no. <laughs> Listen, if you want me to do something for you, maybe a quote from a book or a scene, I promise to give it everything I've got. I want to make you happy, love. So please, let me know what you want. Ah! Ah! You're just on a beanbag with a uh, shirt pulled up. And by the way, I know what you're saying right now. He kind of looks like you. I know what you're saying. You guys are just two different fonts of the same man. We are not different fonts of the same man. We are white gentlemen with a similar face shape and a path that has diverged. And I need to know what happened to get him here. Why are the comments saying, just say good girl and I'll be all right. Why are you saying that? Sir, please, I'm begging. Stop making me blush. I can't take it. Keep going. Another thing, by the way, Shalleluja, please put on some chapstick. Please, Shalleluja. Because if you're going to sit here and say, Book time, baby, have you forgotten about me? <gasps> ah! You can't be saying it with chap lips. And by the way, if you're somebody who like follows him and is like, come on, go easy on him. It's fine. He's not hurting anybody. He's fine. If you're posting this, if this is what you're doing, come on. I want all the happiness in the world for you. It's like, you know that horny chef that was like getting into a bread roll, opening up papayas, just going, <sighs> You like that coconut? Is anybody getting harmed? No. But I can't see it and not talk about it. I can't. And it's the same with Shaleluya. Shaleluya, please. But first, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. 
I love Rocket Money because recently I found out that I was being charged every single month for Apple TV. Apple TV Plus. I don't even know really what it's called because I never use it. And Rocket Money is the personal finance app that can help you cancel your subscriptions. Let me talk specifically about like the canceling subscriptions because Rocket Money, they safely and securely identify reoccurring charges and they can cancel unwanted subscriptions for you. You can even cancel them from within the app. Rocket Money does it for you. Just a couple taps in the app. So for somebody like me who despises customer service calls where they're like, are you really sure you want to cancel? Really? You sure about that? You can avoid that with Rocket Money, which has saved me so much. So the fact that it not only can cancel it, but it just identifies it in the first place has been a lifesaver for me. Go to rocketmoney.com slash filmcooper or click the link in my description so that you can get started today for free. That's right, for free. And then you can unlock even more features with premium. Highly recommend it. I really do think it's cool. And thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Now back to the, when I'm talking about the other stuff. I am willing to give you whatever it is you desire and I will spend endless time figuring out exactly what that is. So please, just give me that one thing and I'm yours. You're being weird right now. You're being so weird. I just came onto Instagram just to, just to scroll around and have fun. I came on here to have a good time. You're going to talk to me like that? What are you doing? Figuring out exactly what that is. In what world do you think that that's like what you make of your life? Shalom, you... you on like in the world of what are you I'm lightheaded because my brain is just exploding from cringe of that. Why are you trying to act so hard with that voice so hard? I'm trying to be so sexy. Just give me that one thing and I'm yours. It's not working. It's not. It's not. It makes me so uncomfortable. What do the comments say? That's right. Beg for mommy. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? Will you serve my desires? No! 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 Am I gonna dance on your whims and serve your desires? I will be dancing on no whims today and I will serve no desires from you, young man! Get out! You are ridiculous. That's insane to film that. Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? Are you looking at this video with me? Are you in this experience with me? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you- I can't, like, you to make this. Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? You are the most cringe person who's ever existed. I'm sorry. You'll be putty in my hands no matter what because you like giving me the control isn't that right kitten you are a monster there's nothing technically wrong with what you're doing but this is the worst thing i've ever seen online isn't that right kitten truly truly and all the days that i've reacted to things online that one video shalaluya look at me in the eyes right now stop it don't call me kitten while you're doing the anime hand i know you're just putty in my hands what are you doing with your hand right now stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it you just need to get out i'm overreacting i'm being too extreme i need to calm down these are all truths but that isn't that right kitten uh my favorite so far is how much you blush when you say yes alex mm. Such a joy. How about if I say no? What then, Alex? Is your name Alex, by the way? If it is, I'm wiping that from my brain. You're Shalleluja. Shalleluja? No. Mm, such a joy. The comment, who gave you the right to sound so sexy? Not fair. I swear to God, I've, there, I've never believed in anything more in my life than you walk in there and the fucking cashier can do that voice. They all practice it. I swear to God. I don't know what is going on with this collective delusion, but there's no world where that's not cringe. A man sitting there gripping the fuck out of his microphone saying that mm, such a joy and you're saying it's suddenly hot in my room or alex i thought it was daddy or master must have missed the memo you're saying that you're saying that instead of cringing oh my god it's fine it's fine there's nothing wrong with him doing it there's nothing wrong with you reacting like that but me in my own world in my own life i cannot imagine that there is a world where you're looking at a man doing the pokemon tournament voice with that reaction mm. Such a joy. If you walk into a Magic the Gathering tournament filled with rooms of men who can do this voice and you look at them after they untap their mana and you go, ah, master. You have to realize that is not a man who should be getting that, 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 and that. By the way, no man should be getting that. Hey, ladies, no man should be getting any of that stuff, am I right? Come on, girls. Comment below if you think all men suck. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Tell me what went wrong. What went wrong, Shalaluya? I'm scrolling all the way down, and I just see five different versions of the same man that I have seen at every comic book or trading card or board game shop. He's just the archetype of that man. Have a good day for me, okay, baby. And here we go, here we go. This is the beginning. We see where it all began. Just a man happily recording his mirror, having the time of his life. Please take me back. Please, please, please. <laughs> Or this one, there's a smile on his face, there's childlike joy, glee even. So, uh, this is before. And, uh, here's it blonde. It's so incredibly blue. 
<laughs> but I hope you like it. That's nice. That's nice. He is, however, still doing the voice. I personally have the reaction of, yeah, this is the voice that so many Discord, Reddit, trading card shop boys have because they're like, oh no, this is so sexy. Hey there, baby. You know how people make fun of like freshman boys in high school who send Snapchat voice notes and they say like, hey, what's going on, Sophia? How, 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 how are you doing today? You, you, you like when I was in band? Like that's what this voice is. It's a man who's watched too many anime dubs and just is like, this is so cool and so sexy. Hey there, baby. But the TikTok brain happens when that is encouraged. That should never be encouraged. That should only ever be seen in the context of that anime clip. I guess it's time to show you how anime I can get. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Ah, this filter is pretty nice. I like it. I should do it more often, don't you think? That is what Shalleluya is doing. Please agree with me on this. Mm, such a joy. I feel like what was happening when there was that female gaze guy. Kevin? Oh my god, by the way, I made a video about Kevin, the female gaze guy, and he commented on the video something like trying to be self-aware. No, Kevin! Yeah. When that first happened and everybody was still going crazy and nobody like hated him yet, I saw that. Not to be hipster, I actually hated Kevin before everybody else. I felt like I was missing something because this man, this is the stereotype of creep. I felt like the perception was, oh, he's being confident, but he doesn't look good. So that makes him look so good. No, people just were picking up on his vibes. And by the way, I made a whole video about him if you want to know why his vibes were bad. And I, okay, wait, actually, I'm making a bad comparison. I should not be saying this because I don't say that Shalalulia has a bad vibe. I'm not saying that he's strange Kevin or anything. But what I am saying saying is that occasionally somebody gets positive reinforcement and they go down a path that I think should be stopped. <laughs> I think it needs to be stopped. When you're doing the anime voice and getting comments saying, whimper, I'll be a good boy. I just think that there's a reason that I don't like it. It's okay. But anyways, remember when he dyed his hair a second ago? This is him showing his dad. Hello, dad. Hello. Oh, you're insane. That's his dad. That's just a man. That's just a guy. A guy who grew up, no social media, no internet. And now his son makes a living doing this. You're doing so good for me. And goddamn, when you listen, I can barely control myself with how bad I want to make you feel well rewarded. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Think of your dad, Shalleluya. Please, the man who was supportive of you when you dyed your hair teal and surprised him in a Panera. Bro probably almost died from the Panera charged lemonade. And then his son goes on to do this. You're doing so good for me. Shalleluya, stop, stop, stop. I can't handle it. Ah, ah, ah. It's just that you're making this. Like, you're, you're choosing to make this. I'm watching you film a TikTok right now. Like, you don't know me. You don't know me, Shalleluya. What are you praising me for? You think I'm sitting here watching this being like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy he's being nice. I get that it's just like some fantasy fulfillment for some people who like it. Listen, I understand, I understand. But oh my God, if we could find a way to not know that it's a human being saying this, because listen, I understand spicy narrations. Listen, I get it, I get it. Nothing wrong with that at all. But I don't want to see bro talking to me right now. Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? I don't want to see bro filming a TikTok while he's saying this as a human being. When you're personifying the voice over of the spicy craziness, and it's like, oh, it's not the thing that you're reading. It's the fact that you are reading it. It's just this whole different level of weird. We're like, okay, if it's a voiceover of somebody reading some, you know, Wattpad, you know, Dracula werewolf, you know, kissing situation. I got no problem with that. I got no problem with that. But if I'm looking you in the eyes and you are not the voice, the fantasy, and you're a TikToker who's saying these things to me, I feel so weird. <sighs> if I said any more, I'd get in trouble. Anyway, okay, uh, more of that more of thanks for doing your thing. Bye. Listen, I know that that's not your real voice I know that when you are with your dad sitting at Panera chugging charged lemonades with him praying that you survive the night I know that you're not saying dad. I love the way you slurped down that lemonade Caffeine is absolutely coursing through your veins. I see the blood bulging in your capillaries like that's not what you're saying to your father. So treat me like your father, Shalleluya, please. Treat your camera like your father because your father's watching, god dang it. I know that he's sitting there going, what is my boy doing online? I love my boy, but what is he doing online? He clicks it and he sees this. You're doing so good for me. What do you think your dad's gonna think? Oh my God, I can't imagine, I can't imagine. Wait, you know what? Li live reaction of his dad watching this on TikTok. I have failed my boy. I failed my child. I've let my child be TikTok brain. I've abandoned my boy. He's dead. 
Daniel Plainviewing right now. You're making him Daniel Plainview. I've abandoned my child! Listen, I know there was a time in my life where I was TikTok brain. God, I know I was TikTok brain and I have paid the price for my TikTok brain. Because when you're a young man and you get 17 comments that say, oh, so I'm telling you right now, you have to wash those from your brain and not believe them because people are horny for Freddy Fazbear. So of course there will be somebody who is saying those things to you, but you have to not take it into account for what you're gonna do in your life. You can't take those Freddy Fazbear people and say, that's whose opinion I wanna be getting for myself. Oh my God. Cause I know what happened is that he was on Twitch and he was doing his anime voice. And by the way, I know it's not an anime voice, but I'm just referencing the, let's see how anime I can get. I'm referencing that when I say that. I guess it's time to show you how anime I can get. Can I say it's his Death Note voice? Can I say it's his light? Yagami? Is that bro's name? Yeah, 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 it is. Hey, I know stuff. By the way, side note, I tried to watch Death Note. Everybody was recommending it very highly. I just can't do it. I can't do it. There are other animes that I'm sure I'm gonna love. But when I'm sitting there and bro is in the first episode saying, Ah, uh, a Shinigami. It seems like when I write down a name in this notebook, he goes out and kills them. I wonder if I can write down a way that they die. Oh, I can. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. I'm sure it gets really great. I'm sure there's a beautiful, rich, wonderful story. I'm sure. And I know that you're saying that's just because you watched it dubbed. I also watched it sub. I can tell what's happening. It's the same voice and he's saying the same stuff. I just can't. I'm more of a Kiki's delivery service guy. Anyways, what I'm saying is Shalaluya saw Death Note and said, I am going to light Yagami. Yagami? <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get enough to really commit it to memory. My bad. But he said that he's gonna do that to book talk girls. Hey there, baby. And guys, girls and gays. He's making it for the girls and gays. Listen, I'm aware of that. I saw. I saw what Steven said. Whimper. <laughs> By the way, I wonder if Steven was saying it in that kind of voice too. Whimper. Uh, mm, I'll be a good boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But that is how people talk. So many of you are saying not to simp, but no. Go ahead and simp. I like it. Oh, baby. You're doing such a good job. Your father is sitting in the other room, Shalleluja. You are sitting there doing this while wearing a getting over it t-shirt. I'm sorry! Thing is, the guys who do this voice are like, I'm so Aragorn coded right now. I am Aragorn in the Twin Towers busting through those doors. But I have one thing to say, Shalleluja, and every other man who's on Discord and Reddit out there, you are not Aragorn in the Twin Towers busting through those doors. Two towers, They're not the two. <laughs> my man, my man, my man. That wasn't even on purpose. But you're never gonna be Aragorn. You're never gonna be Aragorn. You think I don't want to be Aragorn? You think I don't want that for myself? I'm never going to be him though. I know that. And that's the difference between you and me is I have come to the humbling conclusion that I will never even come close to a shaving off the block of Aragorn in the Twin Towers posting through those doors. <laughs> And you know what I mean? Like there's a similar type of guy who when Deadpool 3 comes out, I know is gonna be wearing a bunch of Deadpool merch, walking into a Pokemon tournament, trying to emulate the voice and mannerisms of Wade Wilson, thinking he's hilarious. But the thing is, if you're not Deadpool, it's not hitting bro. It's just absolutely not. You can't walk in here with a Deadpool backpack, a Deadpool hoodie, Deadpool sweatpants, saying, wow, Charizard, really? You're gonna pull that out of here, will you little fuck nut? Ah! There's no charisma there because you're not you're not Deadpool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. Things can be totally fine, technically very perfectly harmless, and I will still have to talk about how it just brings me psychic damage like nothing else. I am sick and tired of you trying to get out of affirmations. Just because you have the self-esteem of a wet pepper mache doesn't mean you get to ignore them. In fact, you need them even more. Shut up! Shut up! What is wrong with you? You don't know me. You don't know me and I don't know you. So don't talk to me like that. I am sick and tired of you trying to get out of affirmations. You're gonna call me a little brat jokingly and think I'm gonna be like, oh, I, oh I'm just melting. I'm not the Wicked Witch of the West and you're not a bucket of water, young man. You are an anime voicing person who's, oh God, again, doing nothing wrong. You're doing nothing wrong. God, is it possible to sin not once and still be in hell? Because why am I here? He's done nothing and yet I am death. I am become death, watcher of TikTok horny audios. I can't handle this. Will you do me a favor and dance upon my whims? Just reassess, please reassess, please reassess. Just wipe your internet presence, delete all the videos, dye your hair again, have a new persona, come out here and do something else. Because I know that there's potential in you, Shalleluja. I know you can do something. I know you have stuff to offer to the world that is different than this because whatever, people like it, people like it. There's hundreds of thousands of people who are enjoying it. Like so many likes, so many followers, it's financially doing great. Like you're fine, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with this. And you shouldn't not do something because I don't like it. But God, I wish you would, I wish. Oh my God, again, he's doing nothing wrong. He's doing nothing wrong. 
guy. I'm sure he's a really cool guy. Is he? If you've just found out that your friend was doing this. Have a good day for me, okay, baby. What are you thinking about your friend? This is a human being who's a Twitch streamer, or TikToker, and Instagram real or, or And the point of somebody with a voice like that, reading audios like that. Hey there, baby. Is this fantasy and thinking all these things, but there's no fantasy when I'm watching you on TikTok as you yourself are saying it wearing a Kirby t-shirt with your baby Yoda plush in the background. Because if I'm not seeing your face, if I'm just hearing it, I can picture Aragorn busting through the Twin Tower doors to tell me this. As the voiceover person, centering yourself in it and being like, oh no, 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 I am that. You're not Aragorn busting through the t Twin Tower. Tw what is it? The Two Tower? The Two Tower doors. It's not the doors of the Two Tower. You're not him. And I can't like it. I can't. But Steve does. And you know what? If there are Steves out there who are enjoying it, then you should continue doing it for Steve's. But for people like us, listen, there's nothing wrong with Shalilu yet. Nobody may mean it all because he's doing nothing wrong. But if you find this stuff cringe, this is your video. We can comment, we can talk about it here, but oh my God, he's doing nothing technically wrong. But imagine his dad watching this. I know there's a TikTok of me out there taking my shirt off because I think my back looks so cool. Listen, I was TikTok brain, I was. And we post it and we move on and we keep it pushing and we never ever do that again. Because when my family and friends see that, you know what the reaction is? Cooper, get a grip. You know what I did? I locked the hell in. And I just hope you can do the same, Shalaluya. My name's Shalay, and I want you to know one- Hell no, it's not. My name's Shalay. What? Brother, you got four syllables in that name. Shalaluya. There's no way those aren't four syllables. You got multiple consonants, multiple vowels, all broken up between them. And you're going with this? My name's Shalay, and I want you to know one- Shalalia? The hell is the Leah coming from? Uh-uh. You know what? Forget all the stuff that I've said throughout this entire video. I don't care about any of that. Keep doing what you're doing. Change the pronunciation of your name, because that's ridiculous. And that Kirby shirt you're wearing in this video right now, I think that you should wear it all the time and talk about things relating to Kirby and not whether or not I should be touching in between my thighs because of your voice sounding so cool. Because I don't want to! But if Steve does, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anyways, Shalalia, peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Hey, come on in. God, what is that? Oh, you're wondering what that delicate scent is wafting through the air? You see, I am but a trash person, and that is the incense of my people. Bask in its wonderful glory. This is what you should be doing, Shalalia. Yeah, this is what your Kirby shirt, your Squirtle shirt that you're wearing right here, your Baby Yoda squishy, this is what you were made for. These videos that a millennial would watch and go, um, I think this is epic. That is totally your lane, and I, and I support that, and I think that you could do great things with the millennial crowd. By the way, if you're a millennial, no hate. You and I are in this together. But you know what I mean. This should be what you're doing, Shalali. I didn't take out the trash. <laughs> My kind stranger. <laughs> so with peace and love, this. Have a good day for me, okay, baby. And weirdos, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what we went through with this. I feel like I was coming in here thinking this will be a short video. I'll just watch a couple things, talk about it, bada bing, bada boom. I got sucked. <laughs> I was gonna say I got sucked into this and I couldn't like look away because of how cringe it was, but I just got sucked. <laughs>